Here's the easy way to connect the Webflow CMS with Notion. So you can literally write blog posts like these and have them show up on your website. First, I'll show you how this all works in action. And then I'll go step by step so you can do the exact same thing. What's awesome about this is that it's all synced up through the CMS. So this blog post is right here, understanding SEO. And if I make an update to it, let's say changing the title here to SEO basics updated. And I go ahead and republish that change in about 10 to 30 seconds, that change will show up in my notion database. And there we go. And even more powerful is I can write entire blog posts in notion. So if I wanted to add a new one, maybe this one's about SEO in 2025, I can go ahead and open this up, write a blog post, paste it in, add an image. So maybe we'll put this little nice SEO JPEG in there. And now a same idea in about 10 to 30 seconds, this blog post will get created on my Webflow site through the Webflow CMS. And there it is. So now if I just go to my blog post, we'll see this new one right up here, which is SEO in 2025. It's got that post body that we wrote with AI. It's got our image. And this blog post is actually live. What's amazing here is that all this is built without any crazy zaps or make automations. It's pretty much just built for us using something called WhaleSync. I'll show you how to do this right now, but ultimately I've got a Notion database acting as my CMS for my Webflow site, which is super, super cool. So WhaleSync lets me set up a true two-way sync across these two tools in four easy steps. So the first step is just connecting Webflow and Notion. From there, we're gonna add table mappings. This is where we tell WhaleSync how we wanna connect Webflow and Notion. Specifically, we wanna, on the Webflow side, take our blog post collection and connect it to something called Webflow, uh, plus Notion demo blog posts, right? We'll click on create table mappings and WhaleSync will connect those two tables. It will then look for the fields that it can map as well. So here it's gonna to wanna to map all the different fields together. So the same ones that we're looking at before, whether it's feature, the main image, the name, all of this will be mapped here field by field. We can even map what Webflow calls reference fields or multi-reference fields. And the beautiful thing is that WhaleSync handles this out of the box all we have to do is map the table that's also being referenced. So here, if we want to bring our authors into this, we'll just add a second table mapping. This time we'll grab the team members collection in Webflow, look for the corresponding table over in Notion. We'll go through that same process of just mapping our tables and mapping our fields. And this time around, we are fully good to go. From here, we can simply hit save and exit and then proceed to setting up an initial sync that will literally take the data from Webflow and send into Notion. That's how you set up a two-way sync between Webflow and Notion, the really, really easy way. It's just a matter of mapping a few tables, mapping a few fields, and then WhaleSync handles the rest. No crazy zaps, multi-step make automations or anything like that. And it handles actual two-way sync as well as reference and multi-reference fields. So you can actually run your blog from Notion. If you're ever unsure or just want a second set of eyes as you set this up, feel free to reach out to hello at whalesync.com. We'll help you set this up and excited to see what you guys do with it.